Hi, this is Dr. Dan Baker, and just wanted to share a couple of tips and tricks that I use on the back end of Canvas when I'm managing my files for homework and also solutions for my students. So I have all my homework files associated just in one um, overall folder. And you can see that there's some different file permissions set on various of these files. The one that I usually most hear is schedule student availability. And I use this with the solutions so that when I assign a homework set that I can actually upload the solutions at the same time. Now one of the other advantages of this is that I have TAs in my class and they're actually able to access these um, files before the students can see them. So they can see exactly what problems were assigned, see what the solutions look like if they need a hand on getting their head around those. But the students can't see them until it's available from time. And so what I often will do with this is set this about a day or two after the assignment was due. Um, I have a pretty steep late penalty, about 20% per day. And so if you wait much more than two days, you're going to be 60% down. So I release it one to two days afterwards, and that makes it available for the students without me having to remember to go back in and change that permission. Uh, the other thing that I use, if I ever need to make an alteration, whether it's an assignment or images like of my schedule or anything else that I upload to Canvas, I found that clicking and dragging is your best friend um, because deleting, what problem with deleting, if you delete a file, then it disappears wherever it was sitting in Canvas and re-uploading it, you have to go back through and create new links to that original file. But if you grab it, hold for about a half second and then drag it over. What it'll actually do is replace the existing files. And so I'm going to click replace on both of these. Um, same name, same content. It turns out it even maintains the, per the permissions. And so if I come back over here to the module, this one's showing up in my chapter 13 module down here at the bottom. So I didn't have to recreate or re-add this file. You can also see here that this is um, also shows the students that it's a, a time-released file. And then my problem itself is actually embedded inside of this assignment. And so those are just a couple of tricks that I use, and I hope that was overall helpful. Thanks.